Okay, uh, this is going to be a short little overview of the dangers of vaping flyer. Uh, this is an example of what I've done, and I did this all in Adobe Spark. That's why I kind of uh, prefer you to work in Adobe Spark, because I think it's a really great online resource for creating quick flyers. Okay, so this is kind of what I did here. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually go back to Canvas. I'm just on the homepage here, and I'm going to go to Models. And I'm going to go down to uh, the dangers of vaping. That's a first personal expression project we're doing. And we're going to start with, uh, we're going to do the design process. So you're going to start with a thumbnail sketch. What I'm going to do is I print this out for everybody and give them a thumbnail sketch. So we're basically creating uh, brainstorm ideas there on the first step. Then you will actually choose one idea you like the best, then uh, sketch that one again. If you're doing these two steps, it'll make your uh, final step, your presentation, a lot easier. So I'll print this out again uh, for everybody and give you a rough layout. And there you're actually going to start in Adobe Spark. So that's up here, Adobe Spark. You can use Google Slides if you want to. There actually is this folder right here. It's examples of, uh, go here, I'll see, of all the different examples they've done for in the past. I'm going to click back and close that folder. So um, this is Adobe Spark here. So if you are using a Spark, this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to log into Google. And then you're going to choose your school account. So you have to log in with your school, provide an email address and your password, just like when you log into Canvas. Okay, so what you're going to do is to start with a flyer. Okay, so starting with a blank flyer. Uh, Adobe Spark is really, really intuitive. Uh, and it's really easy to use. Okay, so you can just click on the background here. It starts by 11 by 17. You actually can check on that if you want to. You can see that this is a 11 by 17. That's what we're in. And that's what you want. Um, so you click on the background. You can change the color. You can choose the image. You can actually use from these colors here, or you can see use a bunch of these. I would probably choose one of the lighter colors. Darker colors don't work too well like a dark blue that just doesn't work well for the background. I would probably tend to use lighter colors, but it's up to you, okay? Um, if you can get a dark, dark color to work, that's great. I'll save it as light blue. So what you can do is on this assignment, and this will be for all the other assignments, when you're actually using images, I want you to use images that don't have the white background on them. I think that was on the extension Google slide. Then I want you to actually use an image that has a transparent background is what it's called. So you don't you don't have a white background. So like if I use a photo and like I'm finding photos up here and um I'll just look up a girl. Okay. And so I use a picture of a girl. So this actually is a background. It has a background on it. So what I can do is Adobe Spark is really great. So you click on that image to select it. Now I want to say remove the background. And it works and it does a really good job of actually trying to do that. Now I can click. You can tweak it here and there, but I like the way it does there. So I close, uh, hit the check mark there. And it has that image. Now see how this is cut off right here? And the rest of it looks, you know, complete there, but the, her body is cut off there. So it would look weird just floating out in here in the middle like this. So it makes sense with, if you want to place it somewhere on the edge of your document there. That looks normal. And that's the Azure document, so it makes sense with that cutoff. If you don't want to do that, then you have to choose a image that has a full body thing. So maybe have this picture of these two little children, and then what you can do is select those and remove the background. Does the same thing, but now I have uh, these two children. So then I can place those where I want to, okay? Um, so I just want to show you that, and actually, then you can actually, in, I get add in icons and I could use the triangle or heart or something like that, you know. You just search for different things and it comes up with different things. Uh, then you can also add in your own text. You can choose one of these or just add in your own text here and then choose the color. Um, you can choose the font. So if you're the fonts, I would try to stay away from Adobe fonts. Try to use stay with these right here. It's quite a few. Um, and then you can choose the size. Okay, there's a lot of different things you can choose. And I go back to it and select, like if you want to have a check, uh, a shape, or if you have a shape around it, or if you want to have a drop shadow, that's a drop shadow there. And you can choose the color of the drop shadow or the shape, you know, if you want to shape around it. Okay. 
turn them off. So different things you can do, okay? Or outline it. So there's a lot of different thing, ideas you can do, okay? So what I'm gonna do is actually just uh, go back to my projects and I'm gonna show you a project that I did. And this is another one that I created uh, real quickly in Photoshop, I mean in, in Adobe Spark. So this is a picture of a girl that I actually did that same, I removed the background thing. And so I just got on these images. These are just icons. You have icons like a heart, a brain, a tooth, lungs. And then these images, these are icons too. So I created this as a flyer about dangers of vaping. Okay. That's kind of like I did here on um, my assignment over here. I did a little bit more how it affects your body kind of thing like that. So that's kind of what I want you to do and what I want you to see. Okay. And then when you're ready to turn this in, like say this is what I'm going to turn in. Okay. So now you need to go to download, go to JPEG, and you leave JPEG. So what you can do is you start downloading it. You can use a solid background because it's the background picture is transparent, but I can leave the background color solid. Okay. So it's got like this uh, cream color, you know. And what I can do now is that image there is in my downloads folder. So I can go back to the assignment here and uh, danger vaping and I will click on my student view so I can see what you're seeing all right so I click start assignment oh also I did forgot this when you're actually in the presentation these are requirements here you start with sketching documents re resources different things effects of vaping how does it affect you your brain how does it affect your lungs stuff like that that's what I did on this one here so you can actually see I've talked about some different things that resource okay um so then uh what we're gonna do is go this is my example again kind of thing and what you do is upload an assignment choose a file and you're going to go back to your downloads okay so the dangers of vaping i just downloaded there and i click open and if you want to you can see that this is my dangers of vaping i click on downloads and this is the flyer I just created okay so that's what i'm uploading and i click submit assignment Okay, so that's pretty much what you're going to be doing for the dangers of vaping flyer. Okay, and that'll finish up uh, this uh, tutorial.